They call me a simp all the time. <laughs> Stop pandering, this and that. Boy, I'm talking about what's in the Bible. So if you calling me a simp, then you calling God a simp. I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret about me. You know, for the most part, I'm real laid back. I know what I'm doing on YouTube ain't the most popular thing. I don't have the most popular views and all that kind of stuff, right? So I already know that that's going to come with a certain level of pushback. It's going to come with a certain level of disrespect, right? <laughs> but sometimes, every now and then, I get the urge to really spaz out on one of these guys that come in the comment section and go to typing their little fingers away like they big and bad. I know most of these guys would never say anything out of the way to me in my face. Because as men, we know, when you disrespect men, it comes with consequences in most cases if you try to write one. So me knowing that, I already know that most people really don't want to fight. <laughs> most people just want to do what people on the internet do and they want to talk their trash and go get them something out the refrigerator and get the remote control and go watch a little TV and then scroll on their phone a little bit more and see what's going on online and see something that triggered them and make them feel bad and then they want to talk some more trash in the, in, on the, in the comments and then, you know, Repeat the cycle. But they just don't know. Some people really ain't made it quite to where God trying to get them to. And even myself, as reserved as I am, sometimes I have to remind myself of who I am, who I serve, and what my purpose and my calling is. So... I thank God for that. I thank God that he reminds me before I go and retaliate on a lot of the stuff that I see. This morning, he gave me a little bit of help. I'm in the gym working out, and I'm listening to one of my daily devotions on this app that I use, right? And uh, the Bible verse... The passage came from um, 2 Timothy chapter 3. So I'm listening to it, and it really started catching my attention. You know, a lot of times you're working out, you really just catch bits and pieces of, of, the, of the word because you you doing your rep count. You got all kind of stuff going on, going on around you. You know what I'm saying? You focusing on your breathing, the, the weight heavy, all this stuff. It's really hard to focus sometimes. But with this, with this devotional, it was really hard to ignore. I'm going to show it to y'all. I'm going to show y'all what caught my attention. First, I'm going to start down here at the bottom, right? This is 2 Timothy chapter 3. This verse right here, this, these couple verses right here, 16 to 17. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. That right there, it spoke volumes to me. Because I see a lot of these people, you know, like I said, they want to go in and they have a problem with my stance on a lot of things that I talk about on this channel, right? But what they don't realize is pretty much everything I say can be backed up by Bible. I just recently started putting Bible verses in my videos, right? But the fact remains that 
because I listen to my Bible and I read my Bible and I, I actually try my best to follow the Holy Spirit's direction and, and, you know, I pray all the time and I'm trying to really live what I'm talking. Because of these things, it just tends to come out. I don't necessarily have to try. It just tends to come out sometimes. Even if I don't put a Bible verse in the video, it's going to be something that's going to come out. It's going to almost slip out because that's just how how much this means. It's just how serious I am about it. Right? So it, it made me think about something. I know a lot of men in this day and age don't have fathers. And they looking for a father. They looking for a father figure the same way I used to look for a father figure and I found it in the street cats in my neighborhood. And, you know, I started looking up to rappers and stuff like that when I got up in age. Today, we look up, well, the young kids, the young boys, and even some of these grown men are looking up to the red pill content creators. You know, and, and it's, it's sad to see how people slip into that, to that pit because we know where it's rooted in. You know what I'm saying? I, I see that there's a lot of men that are struggling. And when you're struggling, you just want things to feel better. You're ready for the struggle to be over with. So you start looking for the quickest way to feel better. And if you somebody that is struggling financially, you know what I'm saying? You're not really all that motivated. And on top of that, to make things worse, you're not really, you ain't really doing too well with the ladies. You know, you ain't really got much going on. You find some guys online that cuss women out, degrade women, and try their best to make women feel like they're less than, it could catch your attention and make you feel a little bit better about yourself. They give you the idea that women want too much. And that's why you're not able to get the woman that you want. And that's why you're not able to, to get the, the, you know, you're not able to get the results that you want when you meet different women and you looking at TV and Instagram and looking at all these made up women that's following around these, these rappers and, you know, the, the socialites and stuff like that. You sitting in your room pretty much all day or, you know, going to work and coming home, not really out there in the mix. You ain't even coming across these type of women, but you really sitting back and you kind of infatuated. And because you can't get those women, you don't have no access to them. You would rather sit there and watch somebody tear them down. You getting a fix off of this. But I want y'all to pay attention to who y'all listening to. These men, these red pill guys that are online telling you what to do with your life, they're leading you down a path of destruction. All you got to do is go to the Bible and you will see that most of what these guys promote on these channels, they have all these followers. Most of the stuff they talk about, most of the stuff they tell their followers is completely against God. You can find your father in heaven if you ain't got a father down here on this earth. You ain't got a positive male role model in your life. Open up the Bible and get to know God. He'll tell you exactly what to do. You heard them verses I just said, right? All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it, the word, the scripture, to, to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. If you start relying on the scripture and stop listening to Fresh and Fit, Rolo Tomasi, Sneeko, Andrew Tay, all these guys that don't act like they have a lick of, of <laughs> bi biblical literacy in them, your life will become a lot better than what it is. Y'all going to the wrong source for self-improvement. Let me go up right here. 
Let me find this verse. This part I want to. Um... Let me start right here. You notice, Timothy, that in the last days there will be very difficult times, for people will love only themselves and their money. They will be boastful and proud, scoffing at God, disobedient to their parents, and ungrateful. They will consider nothing sacred. They will be unloving and unforgiving. They will slander others and have no self-control. They will be cruel and hate what is good. That sounds just like a lot of the rhetoric we hear in the Red Pill content. You can't be a, a man that will cuss a woman out and tell men to sleep with 50 women and tell men to only focus on their money. <laughs> only focus on your bag. And then say that you're you're a God fearing man. A lot of these guys, they're atheists. They don't even believe in God. The biggest names in Red Pill, they hop from religion to religion. They don't even know what they believe themselves. They they just doing what they feel like they gotta do to prop themselves up as an authority so they can try to lead men, right? but they leading you straight to hell. If you don't pick up the Bible and learn to read it for yourself, learn to study it for yourself and understand what's on the pages, you're going to follow somebody right to hell. Cause that's where a lot of these people probably are going to go. If they don't repent and change their ways. By the way, repent don't mean just say, God, I'm sorry. That means you're supposed to turn away from the sin never do it no more that's how you really repent <laughs> it says let me go back and finish they will be they will be oh another thing they they will be unloving and unforgiving they will slander others and have no self control you can't be somebody that's out here sleeping with a, with all these women and then say you have self-control. Lust controls you. Where am I at? <laughs> they will be cruel and hate what is good. Look at what I talk about on, on my channel. I talk about marriage, loving women. I try my best to uplift women. I give my um, give my my following that is mostly female um, game to protect themselves from the red pill tainted men on this on this um on in this world on this internet. A lot of people, a lot of men hate me. The men that do watch my channel, they call me a simp all the time. <laughs> Stop pandering this and that, boy. I'm talking about what's in the Bible. So if you calling me a simp, then you calling God a simp. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to worry about when it comes to y'all out here talking, uh, what, what it is, calling me names and all that kind of junk. I'm good. I know I'm good. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> Watch this. They will betray their friends be reckless, be puffed up with pride, and love pleasure rather than God. Don't that sound like the red pill creators that y'all listening to? <laughs> I just got done telling you how these men, they bouncing from religion to religion. They acting like they religious, but they really not. They using, they using... God, they they saying that they align with God just so they'll have more authority to people that are weaker in their thinking. They know you lost. Let me just say God in my my message, and I get them. I get their attention. Somebody might be on the fence about this. If I tell them that I'm I'm religious, then maybe they'll listen to me. I I can go ahead and get them. I can, I know I uh, go ahead and hook them when I say God. They saying God. 
but they ain't tapped into to God. They working for the the devil. <laughs> they will act religious, but they will they will reject the power that could make them godly. Stay away from people like that. All the young men out here that's watching this red pill, uh, toxic manosphere content, the Bible is clear. Stay away from people that are steering you towards the stuff these guys are steering you towards. Simple as that. But there's more. <laughs> they are the kind who work their way into people's homes and win the confidence of vulnerable women who are burdened with the guilt of sin and controlled by various desires. Win the confidence of also mean take captive. <clears throat> Such women are forever following new teachings, but they are never able to understand the truth. They are the kind who they are the kind who work their way into people's homes and win the confidence of vulnerable women who are burdened with the guilt of sin. Look at the panel that's always on the Fresh and Fit podcast. What they talk about. These guys sit up here and fill their panel up with, with women that are lost. Very sinful. They out here, they got OnlyFans channels and uh, stripping and everything else, right? That's what type of women they have on their panel. And they sit up there and, and berate these girls the whole time they on the live stream, right? They a lot of them girls sit around, and after they get done, he they cuss one or two of them out. The rest of the girls sit there and soak it, soak the rest of it in, like they. And, and then it's even been people online that will take up from the, for these guys. These some of these women actually take up for these guys online. <laughs> Y'all better really stay woke for real. Vulnerable women who are burdened with guilt of sin and controlled by various desires. What they be talking about? Oh, as long as he uh give me a G wagon, as long as I get to stay in a mansion, high value men, they they they're gonna cheat. I'd rather have the money. I don't care. We can do threesomes. <laughs> All of that, right? All these, their desires drive them to do all of those things, right? Live a life of sin. <sighs> these teachers who oppose, these, these teachers oppose the truth just as Janice and Jambres oppose Moses. They have depraved minds and a counterfeit faith, but they won't get away for, with this for long. Someday everyone will recognize what fools they are just as Janice and Jambres. The day of reckoning is coming. And if you see a lot of these uh content, these red pill content creators getting exposed and stuff like that, right? <laughs> a lot of them even leaving, leaving red pill. Sneeko, he just recently said that he's leaving red pill, right? Andrew Tate. One of the biggest ones, the top OG. He said, basically, he don't want nothing to do with nobody that's in the red pill. Recently, right? Kind of recently, right? I guess people are starting to see what fools they are. The Bible don't tell no lies. If you got trouble <laughs> with, with feeling manly, you're not getting the results that you want in life. Go to the source. Go to your creator. That's what you got to do. Go to your creator. I forgot to put the um <laughs> the scripture back on the screen, but y'all see it now, right? So we go down to verse 10. But you, Timothy, certainly know what I teach and how I live and what my purpose in life is. You know my faith, my patience, my love, and my endurance. You know how much persecution and suffering I have endured. You know all about how I was persecuted in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra. 
but the Lord rescued me from all of it. Yes, and everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution, but evil people and imposters will flourish. They will they will deceive others and will themselves be deceived. I just got done talking about this. I'm trying to stick to the to the scripture. I'm trying to stick to Bible in my message, right? What they doing? Look in the comments on my videos. You see a man every now and then, well, kind of quite often, calling me a simp, telling me I'm pandering, going against, you know, what I'm saying when I know and he know that I'm saying something right. It's just that I'm making it harder for him to operate. When I tell women to take it slow and, and don't sleep with men too quick and have self-respect and carry yourself like this because these type of men look at this and they look for that and that's how they choose who they victim going to be. When I, when, I, when I prepare women with the, uh, by giving them the information that they dads and big brothers need to be giving them, it make it hard for men that want to be opportunistic. So I expect you to persecute me. I expect you to throw rocks and hide your hand. I, I expect you to get in the comments and talk that noise. You of the devil. You going to attack me if I'm trying to do right. <laughs> but you must remain faithful to the things you have been taught. You know they are true for you know you can trust those who taught you. You have been taught the Holy Scriptures from childhood, and they have given you the wisdom to receive the salvation that comes by trusting in Jesus Christ, in Christ Jesus. All Scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. That's the answer to your problems same way I'm reading this Bible, y'all can do the same thing and figure out the solution to any problem you got. Don't be looking to these toxic guys online telling you to do the opposite of what the Bible tells you to do. Not only are they trying to help you ruin your life by telling you to run up your body, your body count and not trust women and stay away from good women that, you know what I'm saying, all these things they say, not only are they trying to mess your life up, by causing you to, to do things that are that are possibly going to physically harm you, harm your health and everything else eventually, have you out here have making babies with this girl and that girl and this girl and that girl, have you around here broke on child support and everything else, and have you around here with a name for yourself, nobody can't trust you, no woman really, no good woman really want nothing to do with you, so you, now you really got another problem, you know what I'm saying? You listening to these guys because they got the glitter and the gold, they riding around in nice cars, and now because they done that, they got authority in your mind. But they got that authority by leading men that don't have no guidance, that aren't that that are lost. They looking for they looking for the answers, and they find that toxicity. And then guess what? Because they feel in a certain type of way, and they able to hit the pain points that these people are dealing with, you gravitate toward that. If you hurting and somebody are is is, is catering to what or or they are they are addressing the things that have you that's got you hurting, if they they making these people feel bad for what they doing and that's what's got you hurting, you're gonna look at it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna subscribe. You're gonna donate money to those channels. You're gonna make them make more money. Why? And what, what's that gonna do? It's gonna allow them to go buy more designer, more jewelry, more cars. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna give them more influence in your mind because they balling. That's the problem with the world. We only think that if you balling, then you blessed. The people that are the, the real blessed people, they don't carry themselves like that. That's what you got to understand. Don't let these people deceive you. Go toward the light. I know you're already in the darkness. You need to turn around and walk towards the light. They got you down there. <laughs> They got you down there in the pit. Come up out of the. That's what you need to do. The same way y'all go in on these women talking about they lost and they ain't got no daddy and they got daddy issues. 
you got the, the you got that same problem. You projecting onto these women. You are the problem. You are the problem. But God is the solution to your problem. He'll fix you. Turn away from the red pill. Go ahead and take the God pill. That's what I suggest that you do so you can really fix your life. I ain't even got all the answers. But God do. I'm just, I just want God to use me. I ask God to use me so I can get on this camera and I can and I can tell y'all this type of stuff because this is what I this is what I'm called to do. But it ain't me. I don't, I'm not the one with all the answers. God the one with all the answers. I'm just so, I'm just, I just happen to be the person that he used to give the message to people sometimes. That's my thing. But that's all I got to say about that. I'll see y'all on the next one.